Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As two old guys review the Vintage Film Channel, today Art has picked out Mike Stokey's Pantomime Quiz. Now, this is a really old show, right, Art? Not only is it really old, but it's kind of interesting um, when we get into it. This guy, Mike Stokey, okay? I'd never heard the name before, but I recognize him. And but I recognize the show probably the first time I, I saw it was it was called an iteration of it, Stump the Stars. Stump the Stars. And yeah, Mike yeah. Mike Mike Stokey actually has the thread through the whole thing as first on screen and then as a producer. So we'll get into that. But it was a really a remarkable uh, thing to watch. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, it's a great show. Why don't you just play it as we talk about it? Um, it's based on, of course, everybody knows what Pantomime Quiz is, I think. It's based on the game uh, Charades, the home, the home parlor game that people would play. Right. It's not her. She's, who is she? She's the... Uh, she's a regular. Oh, she, she's the girl who turns the, the numbers, I think. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, anyway, maybe. Anyway, right. it, it's, it's a real simple format. Uh, two teams, and there's always a star, a guest star. In this episode, the guest star was... Um, uh, what's his name here? Vincent Price. Yeah. So, and, so actually, uh, actually, John, you, you know how I research these things. He had like uh, a four, three or four regular guests, and they rotated sometimes. Right. But, uh, we'll see on here that it's uh, not only in this particular one, who was it? Vincent Price. Um, uh, Hans Conried is in the center Hans there, Conrad, right next to Vincent right, Price. And, he, right. and a, a name that I think a lot of people didn't know is a. A, a character actor who played in in movies and television, Bart McLean, Barton McLean. Right. He's on the other team. Yeah. Um, as so they go around. Obviously, this is the part where they're introducing uh, the regulars. Um, I don't think that's is that Bart McLean. That might be Bart no, McLean. Anyway, no. Um, I know. I, who I knew the name. I wasn't sure of the face. Right. Oh, this is the Vincent Price team. Um, one of the things that I liked about this is. The game pantomime quiz or charades is a fun game, no matter who's playing it. Okay, it's always silly. Uh, they've put a time limit on it here, which is good for television, and they've got all these actors portraying, you know, doing the pantomime stuff, and they're really good at it. But it's also an example of overacting. These guys are not you and me sitting in somebody's living room acting out a movie. These guys are professional actors. So when they do a pantomime, it's really pretty good. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed the show tremendously. And um, there's Bart McLean, if ever I saw him. Yep. Yeah, by by, by, by the way, they're, they're, all, they're all shamelessly self-promoting. Oh, yeah. That they're currently in. But they do it in such a way that it's, it's, it's like you hope they're going to do it because you want to see what it was that they were promoting. But they are all shamelessly acting yeah. a part of being surprised and fun. Yeah. And, and, and you almost get to believe that they're really enjoying themselves. And actually, I think they probably did. Being natural. Yeah. Being, being natural. Nat That's what they were doing. Faking being Run natural to, is uh, really acting. That's yeah. faking being natural. Go to 441 on, on the time code. All right. Jump, jump forward to 441, which is where they introduce uh, Vincent Price. And... Um, and you'll see, you know, they've staged this whole thing. It's great. Vincent Price is back again. He's He's been there before, but he's the guest star this week. And as they uh, introduce him, right. all the girls come up and he kisses them and does it. But then he goes into the pantomime for his team. And of course, and, uh, Vincent, I, you know, you know, we know Vincent Price as, as, a, as a, a heavy, as a yes. monster. And here he is, yeah, he's kissing all the girls and he's he's flirting with them. It's so this is not the same guy from <laughs> Pit and the Pendulum. I can tell you that. Okay, <laughs> but you know this is probably closer to the real Vincent Price than the guy in the movies. Right. Um, even though you can see this is all overacting, staged very well. It's almost scripted, except for the pantomime part. Um, that little bit with the changing of the papers and stuff. It's a just a very well done show. I'm sure it was done and edited. Here's a this is the thing he has to do. Abdul the Bulbul Bul Amir must have been a song in That's 1950. A, yeah, that, that was popular, like from Aladdin. I or have something. no idea. Right. And how he how he did it, 
I have no idea. And how they won it, I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. It's a fun show. Right. It's a fun show. I, you really need to watch this, everybody. Uh, and by the way, even if you're even if you're somebody like me who don't doesn't remember having seen the original show, which I think actually ran for about ten years, uh, it came back in several iterations, and either Mike Stokey was either the MC or the producer because I I guess he owned it. Uh, yeah, he probably owned it. But yeah. it's it's you know it's such a simple idea. You take a living room game party game and you turn it into a TV show. They did an excellent job. This ran for a couple of years and I'm not surprised that it came back, you know, every 10 years with a new name, right. Hollywood pantomime or whatever they named it, you know, Stump the it, stars. it's a great idea. As a matter of fact, uh, as late as 2000, I think it yeah. came back uh, as a Hillary Swank and whoever her husband was at the time as the, as the hosts of the show. No kidding. And I don't remember that, but I do remember having watched, Stump the Stars uh, yeah. uh, uh, as a name of a show yeah. on TV and, and always enjoyed it. And, it. and by the way, the charades game comes back. You see it on Jimmy Fallon every so often uh, yes. in one form or another. So if, if you like charades, if you remember Stump the Stars or some iteration of, uh, of Hollywood celebrities right. uh, 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 doing charades, you're going to actually love this. It is not... Other than the, some of the topics, it is not dated at all. This could run pretty much just as it is, maybe with a little couple more electronics. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's done very well. Uh, other than it's in black and white, and you know, and uh, fifty years old. Right. Hey, there's one one little footnote that I want to give everybody. I think it's uh, I think it's this show. At the end of this half hour, on on this tape on. Uh, uh, on Grace's Vintage Film Channel, right. which is, by the way, on YouTube, YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Uh, dot com. You'll, you'll just look for Mike Stokey's Pantomime Quiz. On the same videotape, she must have transferred a Bob... Coming, uh, yeah, they stuck together. It was another half a, a hour show. A comedy show. show. Yeah, totally, Bob, uh, to Bob Cummings. Bob Cummings, totally, my hero. To totally unrelated. Yeah, go to... Jump forward to about 39, 29 or 30, and you'll see the end of this show. And uh, she just tagged them on. You know what? She was probably transferring uh, them both from film to tape at the same time, probably digitizing them at the same time, and just stuck the other one on the end right. of this and just forgot to edit it off or make them separate. So I got the kick out of it. it it's like it's having a two for one. Right. So here's here's my hero. I don't know what he's doing. No, this, but is, it, this is the end, and then he's going to talk about how he got here. In oh, words, how, he got my hero in, how he got how he got into the predicament. So this is the very oh, okay. end, all, and then it has a flashback, a flashback yeah. to the beginning of it. Yeah. Okay, and it's really if if you ever like Bob Cummings, stick around for the end of of pantomime if you if you <laughs> tired of it and move ahead to about the middle of it. And it's, yeah. it's fun. It's and it well is actually it's the silly TV, but well acted silly TV uh, stuff. This is his boss, sure. uh, who claims he's always busy, but here he is playing golf in the office. Typical Bob Cummings, you right. know. Yeah, I, but fun. I just got a kick out of the fact that it's a two for one. Yeah, I, I watched the credits on uh, Pantomime Quiz, and all of a sudden there's a, a Bob Cummings show. Yep. It's almost like it's almost like uh, Gracie gave us an Easter egg. It was That's like probably what it, it was is. a bonus for having watched yeah. the whole thing. But quite yeah. frankly, uh, uh, watching the pantomime uh, was uh, actually easy to do. Uh, yeah, some of them are not so easy. This one was easy. It was. It was. So everybody, when you get a chance, go to YouTube.com/slash Vintage Film Channel. And just scan through some of the titles, but also look for Pantomime Quiz, Mike Stokey's Pantomime Quiz. It's a classic, and I can see why it kept coming back, uh, why the networks would buy it with a different name mm -hmm. uh, every 10 years from Mike Stokey. So yeah. enjoy. Oh, by the way, and by the way, wait, wait, speaking of shameless plugs, uh, uh, to help encourage Grace to continue to putting up some of these great vintage films that we will right. enjoy, don't forget if you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the little like button, the the up, the uh, thumbs up, 
uh, at the end of it. And if you haven't already subscribed to her channel, that'll help encourage her to do more. Do the same for us if you would. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. And, and we'll come back and review uh, Bob Cummings' My Hero series another time. Oh, but write this down. Now we have a commitment, John. Wow. Thanks. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.